The next item on the agenda is item number uh, 18, the Shirley Papanui Community Board. And uh, not, I'm aware that the chair isn't here and that Councillor Jones is going to yeah, speak Apologies to from um, Councillor Cotter. She has uh, left the meeting for bereavement reasons, um, so she won't be attending the rest of the morning. Um, but you were speaking on behalf I of the chair, speaking, Mike Davidson. I am. Yeah, she yeah. was speaking on behalf of She him was speaking on behalf of okay. <laughs> Who's speaking on behalf of him. Yeah. Um, so th please bear with me as this is um, I'm essentially a stunt double and I'll just... Um, Pick up where she was. Do I need to? I don't need to sit over here, do I? No. No. Good. Marvelous. Right. Um, You've got a seat at the table. Thank you. <laughs> so essentially, just pick a couple of bits out that I wanted to raise. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Marvelous. Uh, the the point I think probably the, one of the most pertinent issues, uh, particularly as as um, Pauline has referred to already, is the issue over flooding in St Albans, which is uh, a serious issue, and I know that the council laws and uh, mayor have acknowledged that. Uh, in, the, in the meeting, um, the community board meeting, the board decided to request more information from staff as to where we are at with this, and certainly we're hearing from residents that they want a bit of a heads up as well on what is happening. Uh, social media was alive last night with images both moving and still on the flooding. Edward Ave in particular was like a river. Um, there were obviously evacuations as well, we've heard in the media today, but certainly around the Dudley Creek, Flockton Street area, around Aylesford, it is an ongoing problem. People are loath to even leave their homes, particularly over Christmas this was an issue, because if there was going to be rain, they had people set up to go and check to see that their houses were not going to be uh, underwater. I was pleased to read too in the uh, Acting CEO's report uh, the update on the amount of silt that's been removed, and the residents are now aware of this. However, that does not seem to be alleviating the problems that the residents are still uh, dealing with. So also residents have, asked, have been asked to ensure when they call the City Council call centre that they ask that their call be logged as an individual call because we understand that they have been being logged as a group and there wasn't an indication of how big the problem was. So um, residents are being asked to do that, so that, that is a positive. But we're still waiting for that information so that we can report back to residents. Uh, so I think we should deal with the item A. Isn't there an item A item on the agenda? Yes, um, on the um, 108, 108, yeah, 105, so it's, it's 107 to 108, it's the, um, the Deed of Licence to Adrenaline Forest Limited. Yes. Uh, and we, we, we do have to address that today. Right. So, so would you like to move that Yes, I would like to. Motion, and I'll that. second it. Thank you. So would you like to speak to that first and we'll... Um... Yes, however, I, I don't think I'm particularly well prepared to. I was at the meeting and I am aware of the issue, but short of reading through what you can all see in front of you, unless there's a requirement for me to do that. No. I don't want to waste everyone's time, but it was a pretty straightforward matter. So I, I'm... I'm very aware of the Adrenaline Forest. I was the MP for the area when they were um, first seeking to set up. It was... Uh, it's a fantastic facility. Um, I actually launched it um, upside down. Um, <laughs> <laughs> most people prefer to see me that way. Um, so, uh, and it was, uh, it was it's, it's a great thing. And, it, and the thing is, is for that part of, um, that part of the, uh, the eastern suburbs, it's, uh, it's in Spencer, Spencer Park. Um, it's, a, it's, it's just great. Um, I noticed that the boards uh, recommended that some consideration be given um, to uh, um, some toilet facilities there, so um, I think I think we should um, work with them to, to to see whether we can assist in that regard. But and there was a discussion yeah. around composting toilets. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, but the recommendation is is that um, the uh, council exercise the powers of the minister of conservation um, to the granting of the deed of um, license to Adrenaline Forest Limited for a period of six years with the right of renewal. Um, and uh, there's no discussion. I'll, Yanni Johansson. Um, I presume we're charging a rental. Okay. It's quite hard to see unless I've missed it. Um, it says there's no financial implications in exercising the powers delegated by the Minister of Conservation, but I would have presumed things like the rent would, would be reviewed, would be 
updated, um, but we don't we don't really have that information. I'll, I'll have to find out. Yeah, I think I, I mean I just did some sort of email back or memo back from staff over how we're coming to the assessment of what the rental is and what rental is being charged would be um, I think useful for us to know. Um, yeah, thank you. So, okay. Are there any other questions? I'll put the motion. All those in favour say aye. Aye. Those opposed say no. Carried. I think that's the only item. No, there's another, no, there's another one. one. Straight after that one. Straight after that one.